And may, may, the only other question that I would have is I've also, I mean, I've tested my courses out already in this content with my team here. I also want to do this with other teams. And so within my own network, I've wanted to, I'm, I haven't yet, but I'm going to start like, Hey, uh, I want to do this with your team in my own network to get like a mutual, it's beneficial to you. I won't charge you anything, but you know, it'll be a, a test trial and you're my beta, right? I've, I've debated about how much of that do I do before then I have more content per se, maybe to then use also in a book, uh, pros and cons to that. And any other thoughts? I think it's never too early to test your content more and get it out there because the more you test out your content, the more you figure out what works, what doesn't work. And that determines what goes in the book, right? The great thing about a book or the reason why we buy books is we believe that it's refined wisdom. It's the best stuff somebody has to offer. And the more you test it, the, the better the content gets and the more you deliver on that promise of what the book is for people. Uh, nobody wants to sit down and take four or five hours or 10 hours to read a book and then find out that the person didn't test out their content and they're revising it still. And so uh, I think the more time you can get with that content out, it's hard because we want to get the book out fast. We want to get it done. We want to check it off. Um, Years ago, I started researching personal branding and influence and thought leadership. And I thought, oh, I want to write a book about this. And I started working on it. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have this book done in a year. Well, that was 2016 or something. And that book I still haven't come out with. So it's been seven years that I've been researching and refining the content for this book. But now I'm glad that I've spent that long on that book because it's just gotten better over time and it's become more refined. And even just the other day, I was talking with my wife about it and I was discussing a major change to that content. And I was thinking, oh, I'm so glad I didn't publish this yet because then I'd be wanting to make this major change, but I'd be stuck. And so I've used that content for coaching, for talks, for training, for all sorts of purposes, and it's just gotten better and better. Not every book needs to be that way, but there are some books where you really want to test that content out a lot before you put it in a book. And so I think if you can get out there and do consulting, talking, speaking, and keep using that content, the more the better, because it's just going to make your book better when you finally put it all yeah. down on paper. 